Chapter 70 Flying Type Soul Tool, Huo Yuao felt his heart immediately go cold. Right. If ordinary people could master the use of soul tools, even if it was only the lowest ranked soul ray, then an army of over tens of thousands soldiers equipped with soul tools could be created. How terrifying would such a thing be? Senior brother, then can you explain why our Tang sector declined? In any case, ordinary people aren't able to use soul tools yet. However, our mechanical hidden weapons don't need soul power. Bei Bei, who was attempting to fly, sighed when he heard Huo Yuao's words. They're trying to overcompensate. Furthermore, the army's best long distance weapon is still the bow and arrow. Our hidden weapons have quite a short range of effectiveness, while their cost of production is very high due to the quality of the materials we use. As such, the army naturally wouldn't equip itself with our weapons. In the past, we mainly sold our hidden weapons to large scale sex. However, they've since switched to soul tools. Huo Yuao suddenly felt a flash inspiration flip through his mind, but he wasn't able to tell just what this inspiration had been about. Yu Ao, Come here. Let's test out our flying type soul tools. The process should be relatively smooth. Here, I'll help you up. Once you've finished, he Kaiju grabbed Huo Yuao's arm, then released two beams of white light from the flying type soul tool on his back, which propelled the two into the air. The feeling of one's feet leaving the ground was somewhat mystical. It was also terrifying. After all, this was Huo Yuao's first time flying. Ma Shadows had already begun to help Xia Xia fly on the other side, albeit with some screeching on Xia Xia's part. To use a flying type soul tool, one first had to gather one's thoughts, then needed to channel their soul power from their back into the core formation of the flying type soul tool in order to produce a propulsive force. The contraption had a few buttons on it for the sake of adjusting its wingspan. However, a larger wingspan didn't necessarily mean that one would fly faster. That was determined based off the change in one's turbulence. As long as the user was able to maintain a high amount of forwards momentum, they wouldn't fall down. As Huo Yuao was a soul engineer. Controlling such a soul tool didn't pose a challenge to him. Right now, all he needed to do was learn how to control his balance. However, he couldn't really calm down at the moment. He was currently distracted by the astonished voices of both the Sky Dream Ice Worm and the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion, who were currently engaged in a conversation in his mind. The humans actually have something like this. Isn't this equivalent to simply putting on a set of wings? The Ice Empress asked, astonished. The Sky Dream Ice Worm replied, The reason that humans, not soul beasts like you and I, are ruling the continent is mainly due to the disparity in our creativeness. When I was in the Great Stardo Forest, I saw even more powerful soul tools. Those weapons were truly terrifying. Even hundred thousand year soul beasts didn't dare take them head on. The Ice Empress said in a somewhat lonely voice, The life of a human is truly much more colorful than that of a soul beasts. I've lived for nearly four hundred thousand years, yet I only have ice and snow in my memories. The Sky Dream Ice Worm hurriedly consoled her. Aren't things different now? Isn't this proof that you've made the right decision? We'll definitely see more interesting things as we watch little Yuao grow up. Unfortunately, we can't just spoil him. If we could, I'd have considered making him more powerful quicker. The Ice Empress sighed. This is rather good, I guess. Only, I'm not too sure how the Snow Empress is faring. Her situation isn't much different from my previous one. Actually, she might be in an even more dangerous position than I was. I'm afraid that she won't be able to make it past her next bottleneck. The Sky Dream Ice Worm replied, why don't we head back and retrieve Snow Empress as well? If you're trying to die, don't bring me along. The Ice Empress unhappily said, don't tell me that you think you can persuade her. At that time, if it weren't for the fact that you trapped me and threatened my very existence, do you think that I'd have chosen this sort of passive route that I can't control? The Snow Empress can control her desires even more than I can. Furthermore, she's the true master of the extreme north. It's impossible for her willing to in a state like this, where she'd be attached to a human. The Sky Dream Ice Worm laughed mischievously. That isn't completely impossible. If she were to fall in love with me, she might risk everything to be together with me. Have you no shame? Have you no shame? Don't blame me for not telling you this. When the Titan Snow Devil King tried to ask the Snow Empress out, do you know what happened? All of the bones in his body, including his skull, were crushed by her. It took him over a thousand years to recover his strength, and that's only because the Snow Empress decided to leave him a trace of his life due to the wisp of the Ice God's bloodline he possessed. If you want to be crushed into a gallon of juice by the Snow Empress, you best get far away from this place first. Eep, I was just joking, just joking. The only person I love is you. Who cares about some Snow Empress? She's just some fleeting clouds, some fleeting clouds. The Sky Dream Ice Worm said in an extremely resolute tone, The Ice Empress nodded coldly, get your evil spiritual power away from me. The Snow Empress can undergo a metamorphosis utilizing her innate skill, and she's already managed to break through various calamities. If I'm not mistaken, she shouldn't be far from her seventh calamity now. I hope that she succeeds. While they spoke, Huo Yuao had already begun to control his flying type soul tool. The only existing spiritual detection once again played a wonderful role in this. He was able to clearly detect the changes in turbulence in the air, and accurately react by changing the angle of his wings. It only took him a short while of testing to master flying in a straight line. Afterwards, he began attempting to glide through the air. On the other side, Xia Xiao had already fallen from the air thrice. If it weren't for Ma Shatao, she would have been smashed into several pieces already. Even Bei Bei, Shu Sanchi, Jang Nanan, and the rest had trembled in fear when they first tried out their flying type soul tools. Despite their experience, they still needed a certain amount of time to familiarize themselves with its usage. Good things naturally couldn't be enjoyed by just a single person. The others were soon able to enjoy the aid of Huo Yuao's spiritual detection. After an hour of practice, everyone was at least able to stay in the air. Once everyone had reached this point, they all naturally entered a state of meditation to recover their soul power. Then took flight again. For the sake of receiving the help of Huo Yuao's spiritual detection, the outer courtyard disciples all gathered behind him. Wang Yan was now above them, while Elder Sun had disappeared off to some unknown place again. With Ma Shadow in the lead, the seven from the inner courtyard opened up a path in the shape of a V and flew straight ahead at full speed. The greatest advantage of flying was the fact that one wouldn't be blocked by the terrain. Instead, one would take the shortest path to one's destination. Huo Yuan didn't know how his seniors were able to keep track of their bearings, but all he needed to do right now was maintain his spiritual detection in order to help out his teammates around him. At this moment, Wang Dong and Huo Yuao were practically inseparable. Wang Dong was flying beneath him and had unfurled his flying type soul tool's wings. On the other hand, Huo Yuao had stretched his hands out and was currently holding onto his neck. The moment they'd started to fly like this, they'd suffered questions from the others. However, the two of them naturally wouldn't talk about the Hadong power. As a result, they both shook their heads mysteriously. Their heads mysteriously at the other's questions. With the Hadong power circulating through their bodies, their flight speed wasn't one way inferior to that of Bei Bei, Shu Sanchi, Jang Nanan, or Hikaitus. Unlike Xia Xiao, who had a rope tied to her waist, which made her look like a kite as she was pulled along by Marshata, they were able to fly by themselves. The others were occasionally able to faintly see a faint golden light momentarily appear on Wang Dong's body. Afterwards, that faint golden light would gradually flow from his body to Huo Yuao's. They were able to fly a total of 500 miles in two hours, but this was their limit, due to the outer courtyard disciples with relatively lower cultivation levels. However, Huo Yuao and Wang Dong had actually been able to persist without the assistance of any outside parties. Much to the surprise of the inner courtyard disciples, due to their earlier holdup, the sky had already begun to dim by the time that they landed to rest. This isn't good. We won't make it in time. This old man will carry you guys for a while. Elder Sun's voice rang out as his allegedly figure materialized from the nearby forest, as if he'd instantaneously teleported there. However, before we set off, I'm a bit hungry. You guys should
had already turned dark by the time that everyone had fully recovered. Fortunately, the stars lit up the evening sky, so their sight wasn't impeded. Who are you? Al was the person least affected by the darkness. With the visual acuity his spirit eyes granted him, there wasn't much difference between nighttime and daytime to him. Here, fasten this to your waist. Wang Yan passed the long length of rope to Who are you? Al. The rope had a specialized locked fashion to one end of it, such that it could be fastened to a person's waist and thigh. The entire rope was over 30 meters long. Who are you? Al took the rope and fastened it to himself. He already knew that a rope such as this was meant to be used alongside a flying type soul tool. When there were soul masters with different cultivation levels, using a rope like this would allow the soul master with a higher cultivation level. Cultivation level to take the one with a lower cultivation level along with them, so as to increase the joint distance flown by the two people, thus allowing the two to maintain a quicker flying speed. Huo Yuao wasn't the only person to receive a rope, everyone else did as well, including Wang Yan. Once everyone had received a rope, the ends to all of them were handed to Elder Sun. Little fellas, you'll have to do your best to protect yourselves in a bit. Once we ascend, everyone should maintain a forwards facing position. Once I give you the signal, activate your soul power to prevent yourselves from being injured by the turbulence around us. Understood. Understood. Elder Sun's going to make a move? Huo Yuao's mind shook. He Kato, who was behind him, rose into the air with him in tow. Nobody could see what Elder Sun had done, but a flying type soul tool that was half as big as Huo Yuao and Kato's had appeared on his back. A set of dark red wings quickly unfurled until they were about two meters or so wide, which wasn't considered too wide. However, there were twelve thrusters on the ends of his wings. It had to be known that the militarized versions of the flying type soul tools, along with even Huo Yuao and Kato's ones, only had two thrusters. Just what sort of flying type soul tool was this? Huo Yuao quickly understood what these twelve thrusters signified. Once everyone had gotten into a forwards facing position in the air, Elder Sun's voice rang out. Is everyone ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Following Elder Sun's shout, all twelve thrusters on his wings simultaneously burst into life with blazing white light. Immediately afterwards, Huo Yuao felt a large burst of force of his waist. Due to the enormous tension acting on him, the wings on his back automatically slightly withdrew. Afterwards, he wasn't able to clearly see his surroundings anymore. At the same time, the piercing whistles coming from the turbulence around him affected his hearing. After only a few short seconds, he found it somewhat intolerable. Merely relying on his soul power to protect his body didn't seem to be sufficient anymore. Wang Dong was still holding onto his legs from below, but he wasn't in a much better condition either. Their hand on power circulated at high speed through their bodies, while the golden reddish color coming from his left arm flickered unceasingly as it protected his own body. Huo Yuan didn't dare to be negligent. He immediately released the ice jade empress scorpion, which caused a resplendent layer of crystalline diamonds to cover the surface of his body. This was the ice empress armor. Sure enough, the pressure that had enveloped him immediately lessened the moment that he activated the ice empress armor. Huo Yuan also tried to release his spiritual protection in order to check his surroundings, but to quickly discovered, to his astonishment, that he wasn't able to release his soul skill more than a foot away from him. This. Just what was going on? You're traveling too quickly. As such, your spiritual power is being severed and scattered the moment it leaves your body. Be a bit more obedient and don't try to do anything else. That human's really strong. The Sky Dream Iceworm gave Huo Yuao a timely reminder. The Ice Empress was somewhat unresigned. He wouldn't even be my opponent if it was the previous me. The Sky Dream Iceworm immediately changed his tone and said, That's because my Bing Bing is awesome. Shut up. As he was only using a defensive soul skill, the drain on his soul power wasn't too large. After using the Ice Empress armor for a period of time, Huo Yuao switched over to a class 2 soul shield, which had a decent amount of defensive capabilities. At the very least, there wouldn't be any problems with it protecting his body from the turbulent wind. The pinnacle level of speed that Elderson was traveling at made Huo Yuao made it so that he was only able to sense a patch of pitch blackness. Even raising his head to see the stars and moonlight was impossible. As a result, he could only do his best to protect himself. This was Elderson's strength. Anybody could remain in equilibrium in midair using a flying type soul tool, and the air didn't normally have much resistance at all. However, Elderson was actually able to travel at such a terrifying speed by himself with so many people in tow. Just how could this be explained using the word strength alone? Previously, they traveled around four to five hundred miles in a time span of two hours. Now, if they were to travel for two entire hours, would they really just stop at a thousand miles? Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.